Over 100 people in the tiny Eastern Cape settlement of Hamburg to support themselves and their families and members of this remarkable project and are best known for the compelling and exquisite large-scale artworks they make collaboratively, which include embroidery and needlework. That's the Case Karma Art Project, founded by Carol Hofmeyer in 2000. Now, Professor and the South African Research Chair in South African Art and Visual Culture at the University of Johannesburg, Brenda Sharman, uh, has conducted extensive and meticulous research, which has given birth to the book titled The Case Karma Art Project, Restoring Hope and Livelihoods. The professor joins me in the studio to talk more about this project. Professor uh, Sharman, thank you very much for uh, uh, joining me. Very, very quickly, inspiration behind an amazing, I flipped through this book, it is stunning. Well, for me, it was, it was an opportunity to give people exposure to what is really a very exciting project in the Eastern mm. Cape. I mean, we know of the project, the Kiskama Art Project, largely as a self-help initiative. Mm. But they also produce really magnificent works. Uh, for example, one of their most magnificent works is in, the, um, in, in Parliament. The, it's, mm. it's, uh, it's owned by Standard Bank, but it's on permanent loan to Parliament. And it's a reworking of the Bayeux Tapestry, the sort of magnificent uh, medieval work from the 11th century. And we have our own South African version, except rather than talking about the Norman conquest of England, mm. as that one did, it talks about the frontier wars. So it really engages with South African history in mm. incredibly compelling ways. So on the one hand, we've got a self-help project mm. that has very noble... Um, intentions in it, it enables people to earn a living. But we've really got work also that's magnificent. The, the other thing that I, I also love about this mm. project is that, you know, with respect to South Africans, we do live in silos. Mm. And we are kind of um, focused on what's happening within our immediate communities and environments. And this really also kind of shines the spotlight on work that's happening in the Eastern Cape. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, I got into this project because I used to work, work in the Eastern Cape for some time. And I, I kind of lived through the growth of this project. So this, the Kiskama Art Project started in 2000. Yeah. And I moved to the Eastern Cape in 2002. And I was at their very first exhibition there, um, which was at the National Arts Festival in 2002. When did this dialogue between you and Carol uh, Hoffmeyer, who's the founder of the project, when did that start and say, well, we need to document this properly? Um, I started working on the project of my own volition okay. and producing research on them um, quite early, uh, probably around 2007 or so, six, seven. And then eventually um, the idea was to develop further into a book. Mm. It seemed to warrant being consolidated into a book rather than a sort of just having discrete academic articles, mm. but actually to do something and to look at the project completely mm. in that form. And the focus of your research back then was? Um, my fa I've always had a, lo I've had a long-standing interest in women's needlework projects. It's okay. just been one of my interests. And I've looked at other ones in South Africa as well. So when this project grew, it was something that was of immediate interest to me. I'm also interest, I'm interested more generally also in women's making practices, okay. art by women in South Africa as well. Why the focus, Prof, on restoring hope and livelihoods? The idea of restoration is something that came up in the very first project. Um, it came up with the idea of um, the project being sort of uh, a, a restoration of what had been removed um, in mm. the 19th century, um, from the uh, as a result of the frontier wars, um, a series of loss, loss of li loss of livelihoods. Mm. The cattle, cattle is a central motif within the project, and it symbolises, in a sense, livelihood. Um, so it, it was embedded within that the what one would call the iconography, the subject matter mm. of the project. Yeah. Oh. Very quickly, one of the other things that, uh, for, 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 for anybody who hasn't flipped through it, mm. one of the things, it's a very, very visually strong book mm. that you really focus on making sure that those images really speak and resonate. Yeah, it's, it's actually beautifully designed. I think one of the mistakes sometimes people assume is that if a book is going to have um, well-researched and scholarly content, it's mm. going to have little grim images, which is not <laughs> true. Um, you need beautiful images, clear images, well-laid-out images to do justice to the works that you're talking about. And this, this work really has, this book has been beautifully designed by Robert Hofmeyer. Um, 
meticulously um, yeah. overseen the production Visually of it, stunning. everything um, by the publisher Robert Stuart Clark of Print Matters. And it's available everywhere? Mm -hmm. Um, it's available everywhere, all good bookstores. Book it will be certainly after the launch, which is happening this week. But for people who want to get hold of it immediately, they can go to the Print Matters website, which is www.printmatters.co.za, or they could go to the Kiss Karma Art Projects mm. website, which is www.kisskarma.com, and they could get it there. Um, for sure. Online. Prof, thank you very much. We've run out of time. It is a visually stunning book. That's Professor and the South African Research Chair in the South African Art and Visual Culture at the University of Johannesburg. Brenda, Prof Brenda Sharman speaking to us about her latest book titled The Kishkama Art Project, Restoring Hope and Livelihood. Go and get the book. You can pre-order it. All you have to do is Google the details and find out where you can get your hands on a copy. I guarantee it's visually amazing. We'll take an hour break. Don't take it. Don't go anywhere.